EA Sports. It's in the game. But I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you trade. Cause early I'm up yeah. I can't spend the day with you I'm out of my business uh. I ain't getting paid with you nope. I come to bright yep. I ain't finna fade with you Man, I gotta come clean Like I'm made with clean. you I have been on my everybody drop When I drop yeah. Look at shorty, she uh. support bra uh. Lifting up Never not on my grind New York City time Another brother better You will never find <laughs> I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Bitch, you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh, balloons. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Now what, what I, do? I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, in the case on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. So Trophies, I didn't grab the few, can't match this attitude I wear my heart on my sleeve, please I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me, naturally I chose an athlete Competition never matched me, we ain't go together Like camouflage and polka dots Focus on your position, just know your spot Sure don't stop, it's a long season They planning on winning for the wrong reasons Trying to get my number retired can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. beats, leave it in the street. Case on the news. The young, incredible, honest, the unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, honest, the unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh. I put it on the line like I ain't selfish. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet it's best you soak it in. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions yeah. Daily manifesting on my premonitions yeah. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion yeah. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision yeah. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man Pull up in the top, it's missing, fuck the opposition in All that lane switching, this is what the game is in It's the young new Incredible, honest, the unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, 
incredible, honestly unforgettable. You a joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. sandwich between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jones first carry for the USC man he'll have a first down past the 40 and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line an ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down Big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Jameis to throw it. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Call it a gain of five. And it'll be second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes, that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense. Because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Winston now from the 50. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Come on. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. 
And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Noah Spence able to run him down for a loss of a yard. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Watch that. Oh, oh. They can't hang with that. <laughs> to throw on third down. Beer. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. To throw on second down, Beer. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Noah Spence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Intercepted. Had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. And now fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. An update from a game going on in Indianapolis. It's the Colts in that one that have grabbed the early lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Ready. The Bucks ready. offense set to begin their next possession. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful, find your playmakers and give them the football. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Winston, a handoff. This is Jones. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. And that leads to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. 
They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. At their own 24 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On second down, it's Pollard. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, and it's Pollard again. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second and two. Throws right side, and that's complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. A gain of three, second down. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's a second and seven. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. He may try and run for this. Touchdown, Cowboys! It's their quarterback, 39 yards. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. So a design run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that come. Well, on this play, how about the vision of it, being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there. Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly He's didn't work. lost. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This offense line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. 
And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Winston. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. To throw is Winston. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that kick will go out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Beer. This is intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is Jones. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. But how many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning Ready. people in the Let's secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Jameis now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. That last catch short the marker by just a yard, leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it here, this is Deontay Foreman. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. They come out here in the eye. Now Jones. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized.
This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Here's Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones. Touchdown number 15 of the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Able to punch it in on third down. Makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. After the sack here, second and 11. It's, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. This is Johnson. He's got it. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 44-yard line. First down, Pollard, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. We see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. On second down, Pollard, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. He can run for it, and he will. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, he was able to escape the pocket and get out of bounds. You like the decision making? I love the decision making and I love the execution because you just know that his eyes were darting all over the place. You know how they talk about keeping your head on a swivel, looking for the danger spots where the hits are going to come from. How about him getting all he could out of that run and then getting out of bounds? And he told us, look, I'm a rookie. I'm waiting for the game to slow down, but it seems like he's processing things pretty well. He certainly is. He's slowing the game down himself with his actions. Now this time he'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. 
He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. On first down, Beer. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, here's an option right. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And yeah, the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Looking to throw. Fear. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. From eight yards out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Mar on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. This fielded at the two. going to take this all the way down inside the 40. Well, whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, it's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. The offense thinks they'll go out there and knock them down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action. Beer. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. What has not been the best game for him 
but he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell incomplete. But you're right, hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to fire. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Run for Pollard. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Here's Pollard again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first down, Pollard. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. From six yards away. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Ready? The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A carry for Foreman. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Ready? Move ready. On second and seven, Winston. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Ready, move ready. Now a first down carry by Jones. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Right, 
Winston now. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll run on first down. Jones. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 15-yard line. Black 25! Defense wins championships, baby! Winston. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his fifth touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches, but it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Looking to throw on second down. Beer looking deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 53 yards. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. First down, and they'll try to run the option left. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. To throw on second down, Beer. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. You can't block me. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. The kick by Marr is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. 
So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Back now in Arlington. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, Winston. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's that's see what that's penalty. about. Ready. So first and ten now from the 30. Drop deep, drop deep. Winston. He's got Fuller. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Ready. Black. What is it up? Not today, you are. Not today. Hey, alert three. Alert three. Here we go. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. From the 31, Winston. He completes it to Evans. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. On first down, Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again to Jones. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Ronald Jones, his second TD of the game and 16th on the season. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns eight yards the tally on that first down run here's second and two gonna run again here with Pollard a gain of five good enough for the first down uh, he's still rumbling isn't he still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload but you and I both know well conditioned and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games some good games going on in the early window this might be the best of the bunch. They'll run on first down. Pollard. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down now. Pollard. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. On first down, Pollard. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run on first down. Pollard, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, Shields. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. This is taken at the three. It's in the fourth quarter down in Miami, and the Panthers have extended their lead. If they can hold on, the win would be number eight for them on the campaign.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Jones. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Ready. Blue ready. Now Winston. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And a big loss here as he's taken down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. That one looks like he'll throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brings up third down and six yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Operating from the gun, Beer. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Incomplete in the end zone. It's fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. On fourth down, Beer. And no, it's incomplete. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one.